Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 30th of November and this week we have Welcome to Woodbury as our challenge map set. We've got Survivalist Rick as our star hero and scouts are starting charge to help us. This is actually exactly a repeat of the last time we had this map set uh, with the same star hero. So if you want, you can go and have a look at my uh, other overview because um, this one's going to be quite short and quite quick because um, I don't have much time. Um, Let's start with the uh, weekend event, um, and this week we have reduced healing. Yes, that's right, reduced healing um, for the whole weekend, which is um, unheard of. We haven't had this in a long time, so that should be quite fun. Um, and we also have double XP from kills, um, and with the update gift, uh, with the double XP booster, it will actually be quadruple XP from kills if you are uh, if you activate it this weekend. So uh, a good time to farm some XP or tomatoes if you put Glen in need. Um, so yeah, um, have fun with that. The first map is New Home. Uh, this one you have to get to the door on the right hand side of the map. Uh, starts with uh, Riot and a load of normal walkers. Two ways to play it. You can either kill everything, keeping the threat down, and then just stroll to the door. Or you can charge to the right hand side as quickly as possible. Stun and run, push your way through. Uh, open the door, keeping everything stunned. Um, early levels, I tend to go threat reduction. Higher levels, when you can't kill quick enough, it's uh, just brute force right to the end. Um, this is what the right-hand side of the map looks like. And one thing to mention is the dumpster in the middle of the map. You don't want to push it. it. shows you can. If you do push it, then you will start getting auto-spawns from the gate on the right-hand side. So just leave it alone. You, you don't want to touch that, even though you can. Uh, I've found no good reason to push it. Um, so that's that map. And the next map is Prison Cellar. Um, it can be quite a tricky map. Uh, you start with your survivors separated. One in the first room with one walker. One in the middle room with two walkers. And uh, a third person in the end room uh, with three walkers. Every time you go through a door, it will start an auto-spawn. Um, so I've gone through the right-hand door here, and it spawned the ignore the tank. I'm obviously on a high level. Um, it's just normal walkers. Um, I'm obviously... Um, I've caused an auto-spawn of two in here. Um, and uh, again, when you break the end door, you'll get a, an auto-spawn of seven walkers come from the left-hand side, including a tank. Um, and then if you kill more than four of those walkers, or five of those walkers that spawn, you'll get an auto-spawn every time on the line. So you don't want to actually kill um, that much in that end room once you've triggered that last spawn. Two ways of doing it. Don't break the door seals. Kill everything that's in those rooms, and then charge to the left-hand side as quickly as possible. Um... Or just charge it and hope that you can stun um, everything on your way through. Um, I'll do a couple of videos as always, uh, so hopefully that will help show you what I mean. Um, next map is Fenced Off. Again, you've got separated survivors. Uh, your third position of survivors on top on their own. Um, on the bottom you've got your two survivors to deal with two normal walkers. And uh, you got to open the gate for a couple of turns and then get to the exit. The guy on the top needs to survive. So Survivor's Rick's a good one for this. Not Survivor's Rick. Ezekiel's a good one for this. Um, or a bruiser to stun everything. Uh, you want to make your way to the right-hand side. But the good thing about this is you can use Walker target priority to keep them quite safe. Um, if you've got the Survivor who's on top... Um, about three quarters of the way across next to the fence and have someone at fence level to the right of him everything to the right of that person will target him and leave the guy on the left alone um i explain it a lot better you i've got commentary videos of this i've done previously so check them out i'll put a link to one in the description below next map is death trap uh open the door on the top right uh you've got Normal walkers and a tank. We've had it a few times, not too long ago. But basically you want to 
just done and run as usual way of doing it. It got all the riots on here. I've obviously chosen a high level um, nightmare round um, to do the screenshot for. As I say, I'm a bit of a rush at the moment, so sorry about that. Um, there's a tank round in there somewhere. Tend to move top, top middle, and then get someone on the door and the other two to stun or push back the tank and other walkers. Next map is the breach, separating our survivors again. Quite like the idea of the mechanic. It does make things slightly interesting. Um, this one is really horrible though. Um, first thing you gotta do is kill all the walkers that start on the map, including a tank. Um, once they're all dead, the lorry to the left will open and spit two walkers out. You gotta shut that for two turns whilst it's spitting two walkers out at a time. Um, and also you will have a tank, when you start working on the trailer, you'll get a tank spawn to the right and a walker spawn at the top of the map where you start. Getting Having Mike on the leader is probably going to help you bring, get your team back together again. And it's just a case of chipping away at the walkers. Uh, make sure you're charged when you kill that tank and get on that trailer as quick as you can. Uh, it does really help uh, having one less uh, spawn, also spawn from there. Again, um, not really much more to say about this one, other than good luck with it. Huntsman Darrow's pretty good at earlier levels to prowl back and forth. Um, but anyway, um, and the last map is the tank. On this one, you want to have um, probably Huntsman Darrow in there somewhere, so that you can go and what you got to do is hit the two buttons on the tank and then hit the plunger, the detonator, which is the top middle of the map. Um, you can hit all three in one turn. Um, that's the best way to do it. And you don't take damage from standing next to the exploding tank. It just completes the map for you. So um, run as far to the left as you can. Right gig lane with a herding shield will probably help. Um, or having... Um, interrupt on one of the scouts uh there is a riot around there somewhere normally to the top right um and if you can get next to these barriers in the middle bottom you can get huntsman daryl to run past and hit the far button someone else to hit the middle button and then get someone on that plunger all in one turn you can get this map done in two turns um probably the easiest one on the map on the, of the challenge um and that's it Thanks very much for watching. I'd like to apologise that my videos haven't been as frequent or as useful as recently. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff going on. Hopefully things have calmed down soon and I'll get back to it. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.